The historic National Road enters Frederick County at Mount Airy via Maryland Route 144. As it winds westward, old road mile markers can still be seen along the roadway. Newmarket is a classic pike town which offered travelers, teamsters, and stagecoaches lodging, dining, and repair opportunities. Many unique shops have given this town the moniker of Antiques Capital of Maryland. The road winds westward, eventually coming to the first major water crossing in central Maryland at the Monocacy River. Here in 1808 was constructed a five-arch stone bridge known as Jug Bridge. Located on the east approach, this jug gave the bridge its name. Jug Bridge was used faithfully up through the automobile era until its collapse in 1942. A new bridge was constructed on its site, but Harbaugh's jug was moved a mile to the west. Entering the city of Frederick from the east, the historic National Road becomes known as Patrick Street. This street was named by Frederick's founder, Daniel Delaney, a prominent lawyer and land speculator from Annapolis, who was highly active in the Maryland Colony's provincial. Next, you'll cross over Carroll Creek, which served as the town's major source of water for both domestic and commercial use from the town's very beginning. Today's Carroll Creek is the centerpiece of a 1.3 mile world-class mixed-use urban park that doubles as a valuable flood control project. Downtown Frederick features a 50-block historic district and in 2007 was named as a Preserve America community by the White House. Frederick is also a designated Maryland Main Street community. Patrick Street is home to restaurants, eateries, and dozens of specialty furniture and antique shops. The state-of-the-art Frederick Visitor Center is one block off the historic National Road and can help orient travelers to the wealth of Frederick's tourism attractions. One such is the National Museum of Civil War Medicine, found at East Patrick Street. Here, visitors learn stories of compassion and care, along with the many innovations in battlefield medicine that occurred here. On West Patrick Street, visitors will traverse through Frederick's Theater District, anchored by the Weinberg Center for the Arts. Frederick County Courthouse lies in the next block and includes a statue to John Hansen, first president of the United States under the Articles of Confederation. Another hero from the past resided in the next block. This was Barbara Fritchie. Fritchie was the subject of the famed poem by abolitionist poet James Greenleaf Whittier, in which a 95-year-old Fritchie waved her flag from an upstairs window at General Stonewall Jackson and Confederate troops as they passed her house. The HNR eventually becomes US-40 alternate and traverses Catoctin Mountain. Ascending the heights, travelers pass old structures, some used as inns and taverns since the early 1800s. The historic National Road descends the mountain in the picturesque Middletown Valley. Middletown is another classic example of a village that grew up around the road. Pioneers heading west used the services here, and the town witnessed travelers including tradesmen, former politicians, entertainers, and soldiers of both the Confederate and Union armies. These latter travelers ascended South Mountain to the west, where the historic National Road cuts through Turner's Gap, a scene of the Battle of South Mountain. Today, South Mountain Battlefield welcomes visitors as does the larger area of South Mountain State Park.